No one thinks I'm a guy. So today is a four shot espresso. I haven't decided if I want a caramel frap or just a regular uh, mocha frap. That's today. And so today. So for those of you that have seen my YouTube stuff, yeah, so over it. Um, I'll go into detail what ends up happening, but it goes back to what happened at one office. So, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Sale is emptying out beautifully. What we want is an entire wipeout in sales, but unfortunately, um, a whole lot of you are hitting the collections, which is what we want, but we don't want you guys returning it. We had like four whole go back racks. So let me give you an idea how big this fucking thing is. This thing called a rack. Okay, you see this bed? Okay. That length going up higher. Remember, we have to we have to show did you guys see that bed? Okay, that's pumpkin. We got no sleep last night. I had slept I'll show you how I slept. I've slept like this. Like a little comma. You guys see that? Like a little comma with them two taking the pillow. And eventually, when Pumpkin gets up, they all get up. So it's just like, okay, whatever. So yes, a four-shot espresso frappuccino today because it is going to be back-to-back, -back, half hour in, half hour leaving. What does that mean? You guys, well, you guys are so much logical than I am and smarter, right? Okay, half hour into the opening of the store, half hour leaving later than what the store is. Figure it out. Figure it out. And plus, I got homework to do, and I have like one hour to do it. But not a biggie. Not a biggie. So, we're going to go through this because, like I said, we're going to. It's already showing. Already showing. This is gone. That's how I know. It's completely gone. I know it's gone because wisdom teeth that I have are like super calcium strong. So this molar is also damaged. It's, it's been chipped since like 18, no, 19, no, 18, 18, 18. So I know I had both my mouths with wisdom teeth. So like top and bottom, top and bottom. So we know we're going through it again. How we're going to go through it, I'm not telling you. Because like I said, I get blamed for everything. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. You guys made too many mistakes way too many mistakes and it shows it completely shows in everything anyway so i'm going to go into detail what i need done as far as dianetics go because i know what took place for four months as far as starbucks drinks because i was starting to notice i wasn't i wasn't losing weight with it i was actually gaining it and so i also know that's when the phone calls took place and I also know when I was starting to come out of these little, like, the first day was fucking scary. And they continued to make it scary. So I'll go through that. And then I have to figure out about this car situation because I really wanted to get rid of the car and to lease here in Michigan. Or at least buy a used one because some of the cars here are not lemons like they are in Massachusetts. So... The problem is, is that when I get into the car dealership, what I end up hearing is lease out for the most amount of years and it's like I don't want to okay so the car situation if you need to ask somebody that would be Al Franken um, that would be the person to ask trust me he's playing dumb right now because he wants to know what the new exodus story is from Miriam and the problem is is that <laughs> we're somehow silenced okay we get the dreams but we're somehow silenced so it's it's not gonna it's not gonna end up in his hands. It's just not. It's not. No matter how hard he tries for this one, it does an, it does end sweetly. Like a little boy gets her tambourine, and she goes off with her new soulmate, and that's it. It's I don't know why she put it that way. So that that's how it goes. It's completely how the whole town is clean from sin and stuff. So mind you, that's mere mare. That's mere mare. And, and, and she shows it because she's also going through, like, meditation also. When cats start starving and eating differently, and it's not because of the dog. Because, like, the first few days when we went, when they were in here, they were eating like crazy. 
So they should be stressed out, and that means that they should be eating more. Now she, she's, like, back to her routine, not eating up until, like, maybe 8 o'clock at night, stuff like that, and she's sleeping most of the day. That's usually her. So, but when I see her in the bed, that's how I know, like, she's, you know, up and about entertaining everybody. That's, that's not typical. That's not typical. So we are seeing a lot of positives. So does Dianetics work on, work on the animals? Absolutely. It absolutely does work on the animals. So, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we're going to go through it. See, this is the whole beauty about Scientology. That's why I respond to that letter. Because I know it works. I know it works. Don't Animals are... Animals have a conscience, too. Don't say they don't. They do. There's a lot of things animals do that... We sometimes wonder. But anyways, that's a whole different argument I'm not getting into first thing in the morning without my coffee. Plus, I have to figure out this little rat race. So, Joe Biden, to answer your question, because I know you're asking, what two credit cards what should I not have grabbed? BP, uh, the Toys R Us credit. I have no idea where that came from, but it was becoming very clear at work. Like, something was going on, and I hate doing that because it meant that... My boss was calling, and there was something that took place here in Michigan that I know that my boss was truly trying to get her job back. Like I said, a lot of stuff happened here in Michigan. Oh, let me explain this whole Gary Peters thing. Okay. There was a period of time where I became a political escort, and it started all the way in Newport. Okay. And it was not funny at all, because it, they were somehow trying to teach me a lesson of who my senator was and who I should have cried to. And the problem is, is that if... You're the senator that's fucking bugging me, like seriously not getting with it. I'm not going to go to my state senator and complain about it. I'm going to come directly to you. I have no fear. The problem is, is that you're dealing with a vampire. So if you're lying to me and you know you're lying to me and I have no business to be in the Capitol, I'm not going to make it through. I'm going to actually start going blind and deaf because that's how honest I am. I mean, seriously, I was trying to get through and I just couldn't because as soon as I got on the bus route, I seriously went blind. I seriously went blind. So if it wasn't for that amygdala of attraction, I think I still would have been slightly blind because it takes a while to recover from all that stuff. Just like it takes a while for me to, you know, recover from somebody who like seriously did something to undo or actually not undo it. Not undo my Dianetics, but actually push it to the limit. Because now you have to work that twice. You have to work twice as hard to get my attention now. So I know. This scar is horrible. It is so horrible. It will go away. I promise. It goes away. My skin heals from scarring really nicely. It just takes time. Just about a month or so out being in the sun and stuff. Yeah. So yes, the China, the surgical mask from China, it aggravated the acne and it left like a health a truly bad acne scar it's not a big deal but anyway so don't start shit if you can't if you can't be truthful about it because i i literally tried you can ask the town that was in front of the highway like i tried i completely tried and i made sure like i wasn't going to lose my car in it because i also had to deal with this shit so when i go back through mind you i am aware it's just I'm trying to avoid not to have a busted face because at that point in time I don't have money to fix it. Okay, A busted broken eye and a busted nose costs medical money. And knowing how the situation went, I still would have been fucking blamed. See, you guys haven't fixed that. Okay, Military men should immediately be put in jail because they have special training tactics. And trust me, it came close. Which is why I'm kind of nervous because if I go back through and I have to document this. Remember, this is a fight. And all I did was walk downstairs and said, good morning, what's your problem? And it turned out to be a huge freaking fiasco right before I had to go to work. And it was like a 10 o'clock shift at KFC. So. Oh no, I was still working at KFC because it was still at the old place. Anyways. And like I said, there's a lot that went on. And I know what's also going on, too, because they did something in the mall that was completely stupid. Like, if you don't pay attention to what's going on at the doors, like, people purposely coming in and coming out, the same shit. 
Same shit. Same Dorothy, Wizard of Oz shit. Same Dorothy. So it is still Wizard of Oz. What it is is that I've con- I've constantly provoked it to see what the hell is going on. Because these people in this town have it in their heads that... Um, if you're not if you're not going to spend it within the town, they're not going to go out and spend it. I don't know who the hell has this crazy fucking economics thinking. Seriously, should have like I should have like pushed my homeroom. No, what was he? No, my economics teacher for like a different book because the book we got was recognizing like business scams, business marketing setups, and all that stuff. So pretty much, it was a Donald Trump book. It was. It was. it was. So it wasn't like the Mitch Mc... I know you wrote this fucking book. Don't lie. Like, you don't. Like, you, you, you politicians crack me up. You have more time than the fucking actual clock does. Okay? You do. And me, on the other hand, I've, I've taken all your clocks. I'm sorry. I'm completely sorry. But if you guys are going to keep making mistakes and stuff, and it hurts me when it shouldn't, and it hurts other people, too. They just, they just don't recognize it. But it hurts me a lot because I'm on Scientology stuff. I'm on Dianetics. I have so many freaking Dianetics. So if I'm going through each one of them and they're failing, that means you guys are up to no good. Because that's how, it, I, I swear to God, this man seriously wrote in a letter. I took a chance and sent out letters to everybody. Everybody. And there was an amount you had to pay. So, yes, I do know what this letter was. Yes, I did pay it. Yes, I did because I knew I was gonna I was gonna work it back up again. So, don't act like you didn't get this letter. Don't act like you didn't get it because that's exactly why Joe Biden's in office. All right, that man's that man is honest. That man is honest. So when he came out hitting Donald Trump with everything that Donald Trump wasn't gonna do, didn't phase me one bit. Not one bit. That's no different than somebody walking into a store and saying, "Well, what did you do? What didn't you do?" Right? into a job okay so nobody can't say up in Scientology I'm not trying to fix it I'm trying to find somebody to help me fix it because this car situation is the first fucking kink like mega state kink I have to fix because the first time we went through all this what's the first mistake my freaking ex-husband did or whatever he is right now motherfucker right I said that right because remember I'm ghetto um what's the first mistake he did okay he said, no, we're keeping, it was a, it was a freaking stupid mistake. It was a mistake. Oh no, mistake means something else in Scientology. This was a big freaking ass, like, error. Like, the car came back again. He went and got the car back saying we had a lease. Why would you say that? We just got rid of the problem, which was the problem. So now I'm stuck with this problem. And the, and it was like, great. Because the first thing that came out of my mouth when there was people around is that that's my prison. It is. It is. So I have to get rid of it. And the problem is it takes six months to get rid of that car. It takes six months. Why does it take so long? Because I need somebody to drive it back. He won't let me drive it back at that point. I don't know why. There's no reason for me to... There's no reason for me whatsoever... To be at his place of work for a month and a half for the duration of the first few months in Massachusetts in 2016. There's like, there's no reason. Oh no, I paid attention. Which you all wouldn't did is that I wasn't with it. No, I was with it. I was with it. What I was trying to do was size you all up because you all had a sickness in a room. You all had a sickness in a room. Each and every single lifetime I have been a vampire. Yes, I have, and I didn't have to come back on this one. Didn't have to come back on this one. It was a personal favor. Okay. Didn't have to come back on this one. What do I mean? I didn't have to come back through. I didn't mean that doesn't mean like I didn't have to come back to Michigan. No, it means I didn't have to come through in this this part of the lifetime. Because we haven't gone back. We haven't gone back. Yes, mare mare. Meow. Pumpkin on the bed. You acting so friendly. She acting so friendly. This cat drives me crazy. I so want you to just play with a whole tank full of mice, Mare Mare. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. 
Pumpkin, don't. She's such a sweetheart. Don't jack o lantern her. It's one thing to do it with EM. She's the kid. She did that four times yesterday to EM on the couch. So this way she can occupy the couch. Whatever. Okay, so you got my morning, like, hello and shit. Mind you, like, I have to get used to videotaping all the time. There are some things I don't want you guys to see, like me showering like that. I don't, because it'll end up being like a movie. I don't like that, but concerning the argument you guys might propose, you're right. You're right. Let's not bring it up. <laughs> Let's not bring it up. <laughs> Let's not bring it up. I seriously had to, had to sit somebody down from afar in New York and, and slap them and slap them. I'm sorry for the other person that got involved, but I can't just punch that one person by himself because he seriously will start acting like I'm crazy and I don't need to be in any more psychotics. Yeah, uh, no, no, you guys have my blood work. You guys have my blood. All you have to do is test it. I would have paid money for the blood work. Trust me, I'm not paranoid schizophrenic. Oh no. Oh no, not after that freaking first office visit. Like, I, you guys all remember the campus university? Yeah, okay. Y'all forgot about that? Okay. All right. Just so you know, just so you know, just because you have a fucking degree don't mean shit. It doesn't mean shit. I'm telling you, it doesn't mean shit. Okay? You, we just proved Donald Trump has an amazing degree and didn't fucking do shit. Didn't do shit but golf. Okay? Didn't do anything more than spend four years golfing. Okay? You had four years, I swear to God, I swear to God, when Joe Biden says you had four years to fix the census, he meant it. That was so dumb. That was so dumb. You actually can get stuff done in six months. As, as a tycoon, you can get stuff done in six months. Just because you're president doesn't mean you can't, you can't become a tycoon at the same time. Oh, no, 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 no. See, that's what they have you thinking. That's what they have you thinking, because there's a lot of things Obama did. Okay, there's a lot of things to Obama. That's why we have Obamacare. Okay, so let's not let's let's not get into this greaseball argument. Because if you had time to stage a protest, which you did, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it shows where I work that you stage that fucking thing. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Donald Trump staged that protest. Two protests he staged because of this whole freaking 2020 election. Do your job in the first two years, and maybe it might change. Maybe. Maybe. Just like you've done in all the other pastimes. Okay? I'm not going into that one. I'm not going into that one, because I seriously died on a punch. And that was not funny at all. Not funny at all. Oh, no. Oh, no. Donald Trump has been with it. He has been with it in the past times. But this time, he's acting stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't act like you don't know. Because it shows when Joe Biden goes up on debate. I swear to freaking God, you guys act like you don't know any of this stuff. But yet, y'all have the sickness in the hands, though. And you're wondering why you have it. Forgive me. Forgive me. Forgive me for pointing it out. And don't act like that stunt wasn't, wasn't like, real. It was. 30 of those fucking things. So once again... Once again, we're not taking blood like we should be, okay? Remember, the first time I did it, first time I did it, I did it as a human being, okay? I was hurt. My femininity was affected by it, okay? But we're not going back to that. I spent 30 days healing that part, and I move, fa I move fast. I'm sorry, I heal and I move fast. The number one thing I heard was you can either do one or two things, you can get rid of it real quickly, or you can put up with it. I don't put up with shit. I just get rid of it. That's it. But if it comes with paperwork and stuff, oh no, I take my time with paperwork. Take my time with paperwork. Because if from one hand it don't match to the other hand, oh, that's that's a freaking lie tale I don't need to hear. I don't. Okay? I don't want to hear this fucking side of the podium. I really don't. I really don't. You all didn't win, but you guys are getting your state letters, though. Okay? That envelope is in the mail. And it's 20. It's 20, which means it's equivalent to 50. So how ma however many state letters you get, and I always get taxes, and I can always have the, ch the ability to choose. Because you know why? I really don't care at this point. 
I don't. I don't. Just do me a favor. If you're going to start complaining about people having to go on unemployment, just remember, we have Hispanics in the fucking country. We have Hispanics in the country making it worse. We do. Because there was a point where we didn't and everybody was still making ends meet. All right? So don't even start on that argument because that's why your census is so fucking high. Because you're allowing people with green cards to vote. So, you know, we're not getting into this. The focus is on me with my Scientology and you fucking politicians need to back the fuck away. If you want my advice on something, you have to seriously physically approach me in the nicest manner. The phone is off limits. Oh, no, 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 no. The phone is off limits and my meditation is constantly still ongoing because I've seriously had it with this fucking po with this fucking population and world. Y'all don't have straight logic. Y'all don't think clearly and y'all are in it for yourselves. Whew. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. No, 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 no. Not me. Oh, no. In it for me? No. All those tweets that I had to write, those were all the bubbles I had to fucking pop because one girl kept saying it was me. I don't give a shit for you fucking Republican candidates at all. But if I'm going to say something nice to you, I will say something nice to you. And it's coming from the heart. That goes to Jeb. Okay, because yes, you are a sweet looking politician, but we also all know you are off limits. Okay, but we have to give you compliments because something happened right before the 2000, I think it was 2000, when I was in Cancun, 2015 presidential uh, debate of the summer. Okay, I remember that and I was looking on YouTube for a song and it, it just... It, was that yeah song and then rick perry's conference and then you popped up i always listen to rick perry's conference from like way way ago that's how i know like certain things from that part of time so that will always be there so if you know for a fact i'm not listening to that on youtube something is seriously wrong with me because i do have a consistent youtube pattern i do a consistent youtube pattern <laughs> Holy crap. Y'all need to pay attention to some things. Y'all need to pay attention to some things. You ain't tracing stuff like, like this man's like this man's campaign party is. Okay? I'm telling you, the more mistakes you make, the better off he becomes on TV. And in his debate. Which I think we want. I think we want Biden to be better off. Okay? I think we do. Because I think we're, we're fed up with you. We're fed up with you. If we could get Hillary to win 2016 to 2020... Trust me, the same shit that I did with Trump is going to still happen with her. But at least we got you out of office. Okay? It is a mean, nasty day for, for everybody today. It is. It is. But for the rest of the world that are sh shoppers and consumers, just so you know, Juicy Contour is still out. And yes, we did take the, bo the buy two, get one free away. Um, trust me, it's worth the price. We also have sandals. So if you're trying to figure out why we have sandals, it's because we want you to show off our socks collection, okay? We have plenty of socks, and we want you guys to wear the socks, not wear it across your face. Remember, in the state of Michigan, it's surgical masks or face masks that are approved for people to buy, not sock socks, okay? Don't do that stupid crap. All right, I'm off to Starbucks.